Hi, we're here with Hi. Amy. Amy Lee is here from Evanescence. How's it going? How's it going? All right, so now we're, we're, we're live. Yes. And uh, we're going to see how people join in. We're going to talk with you about your upcoming tour, your children's album, and all sorts of good stuff. But in the moment, we're just waiting for people to hop on in and see where we are. How's your day? Talk to me about your life. My day's good. Um, it's been pretty chill. Um, we've had, it's kind of rainy as you, you yes. notice, a little drizzly. Just ran over here. Yeah, but look at this amazing shirt. Where did you get it Thank from? Thank you. Aw, oh, man, you're going to make me say you don't that. Have, you don't have to. It's a crazy Japanese name. It's an awesome designer. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> I cut the tag off because it was itchy, so that's, how, that's how legit I am. It's all right. It's oh, all right. Now we got you super Hello. profesh with a yeah. microphone. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. So I guess um, right now you're you're talking with a lot of people about your children's album. Yeah, which is released today. It released today. Too much. So Very got exciting. up at uh, six thirty this morning. Wow. Got ready. Got wow. going. Well, you Seriously. look amazing. Thanks. Um, <laughs> it's been a, it's been a minute since then. We did a little. Um, my dad's here with me. Did a little yeah. performance on uh, Sirius Radio, uh, and that was really cute and fun. Aww. Kids Plays Live. We had a really good time. So now we're just talking to people, doing some press. Yeah. Gonna see some fans later. That's exciting. Right now. Right now, fans. as people tune in. <laughs> and uh, so the origins of the album came from your son, Jack, yeah. and your father. So um, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. That um, well, doing this kids album was just like this totally natural thing that started happening. There wasn't a big plan for it. I get really inspired by Jack, he's my first kid. He's two years old. He's awesome. It's just really, really, really cool and inspiring to watch a brain develop and see like what fascinates him. And it makes you remember things that we kind of take for granted as adults. Yeah. So um, there's a lot of natural inspiration there. I grew up in a super musical home, so um, I definitely wanted to get in and record uh, with my dad just to kind of have it and document it. Um, and then that turned into this whole full blown project writing songs being for jack using him as my test audience to like see what he liked and it's like your little muse yes totally. that's amazing <laughs> so has he kind of what are some of the things that he's helped you rediscover through his discovery uh wow what can i talk about that i haven't said before um, he thinks words are really funny the english language in general really big words mm -hmm. the bigger the funnier mm -hmm. lately it's been unfortunately <laughs> unfortunately but then the, nothing comes after, just unfortunately. Yeah. Um, he's into trains, big time. Anything that moves. Um, we uh, went and saw a bunch of cool old buses from like the New York City Transit Museum that they had outside during like a street fair last week, and got to get on all these old buses that are like kind of untouched since like they've been used for the past I don't know, 50 years or more. Um, that was fun. I don't know. It's fun to hang out with the two. I mean, yeah. hey, sometimes I need adult time. Right, of course. But he goes to bed at like 7.30, so right. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Um, well, people are starting to tune in. Um, a lot of people, one person's looking forward to seeing you at ACL Live. So Yeah, it's going to be, be fun. Amazing. So you're going to do the children set there? No, we're uh, in Atlantic City. We're going to do an Evanescence show. We're oh. um, starting our tour at the end of October. Mm -hmm. um, i got to start practicing. It's reminding me. <laughs> I gotta get my head in the game. <laughs> yeah, we're excited to play again. We're gonna do a little American tour starting in the south and going up the east. And it's been a long time since we've actually played close enough for any of my friends in New York to see. So right. gonna have a lot of friends to get to actually see me play. That's for, exciting. For that guest list is gonna be nuts. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Always is. It'll be amazing. And uh, are you guys? Um, I guess are you gonna bring the whole family with you on tour, or are they gonna see you at certain? No, you're gonna have mummy time. Well, I mean, I'm gonna. <laughs> you mean like Jack? I'm gonna miss him like. Oh, of course. Crazy. Um, we're gonna work it out so we get to see each other a little bit, but we're not gonna be like living on the road together. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, that'll, that'll be, be hard. Amazing. Yeah. Oh. It's okay. And then let's see. A lot of people are saying hello. Hi. So all the fans are tuning <laughs> in. <laughs> Big ups, shout outs to everybody on my uh, Facebook page right now. Yeah. Hanging live, Rolling Stone. I know, it's very Such exciting. Such a nerd, so dumb. And then, um, so the album itself was a family affair, not just your father, but you had your sisters right, involved yeah, yeah. and you had an uncle involved. Yeah. So that's cool. How did you get everybody 
together for this? Well, it started with my dad and my uncle. My, my uncle actually plays in a band professionally. They're called the Tree Frogs. Um, and they play in Florida, you know, where he lives. He lives in Orlando. Um, so he's a very good guitar player, plays bass. So just when we were doing this for fun, before we knew we were doing the whole album, it was just me and my dad and my Uncle Tom. And we got in the studio and recorded a few songs. Just had a really great time and decided to keep going. When we went back for our next session, um, I had a great idea that I wanted to get like sister harmonies going. My sisters, Carrie and Laurie, both are really great singers. Um, choir nerds when they were in choir at the same high school that I went to. Um, so we love harmonizing and singing together. Um, so we had fun with that. A lot of three-part harmony, kind of Mr. Sandman style stuff going on. That's amazing. Yeah. So you think maybe a future like doo-wop type album could be uh, with like the sisters? <laughs> you never know. Keep an open mind. <laughs> Not planning on it, but open-minded. You never know. You never know. <laughs> And then um, I guess like now through doing your own children's music album, have you like rediscovered old music that like you might have remembered from your childhood? Totally. There's this, I was, I already said this earlier, there, there was this Burl Ives album that like, actually a friend of ours found it on the street, like a record, we have a record player. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, oh, we saw this on a stoop and we thought you might like it. and. It's Little White Duck is the name of the, and other children's songs or whatever. And as soon as I turned it on, it was so familiar, and I was like, oh, yeah, I love this song. And we listen to that album all the time. Jack loves it. Yeah, um, yeah it's so fun to, like, regress and go back to your childhood and all the things that you loved and that inspired you yeah. when you were little and then share them with a kid, you know, for the first time. So we love the new adventures. Not the new adventures. Is it called the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh? The classic one, whatever the one is from '77 or whatever, like mm -hmm. the classic Winnie the Pooh movie. Um, that's the one movie that we watch. Yeah, Love. all the time. And Curious George. So Every good. episode of Curious George, I pretty much have it memorized. If anybody wants to quiz me on Curious George, I'm here to answer any questions <laughs> about any any background deep characters. That's I've got amazing. Inside of you could write an oral <laughs> history of Curious George. Yeah. That's your like next project. Um, we have a comment or a question. Um, what music inspires you, and like, what would be your favorite band? Favorite band? It's always such a hard question. I couldn't pick a favorite band. Uh, I I get inspired by a lot of things. I'm trying to think what I've been listening to uh, lately. God, put me on the spot. Um, I've always loved Bjork, Tori Amos, Portishead. Those are big, like, old through my life inspirations. Um, of course, Nirvana, Soundgarden, yeah. um, alternative 90s was like a huge impactful time for How me. How do you feel about the Temple of the Dog reunion? What? Wait, what? No. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's incredible. They're releasing a deluxe reissue of the album today, oh. and they're going on tour in November. Oh, I've been too busy to pay attention to it. Well, now, now stuff. you have something to... That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Very Sorry, didn't that. mean to take you off track, Badass. but just seemed like right in the, in the awesome. realm. <laughs> yeah, but is there any like when you were younger? Were there any artists that like really? Well, besides like when I was a little girl. Yeah, like when you were little. Um, Huey Lewis in the news. Oh, nice. Um, the heart of rock and roll is the beat, yeah. and it's hip to be square. Um, I'm being funny, but I'm also being serious. I mean, when you're like six, that stuff is awesome. Right. I really liked that you could hear the heartbeat in that song. Like I thought that was so cool, smart. Um, I really loved Stevie Wonder growing up, Temptations, Four Tops, like a lot of Motown kind of sounding stuff, Jackson 5, um, I'm trying to think what else, lots of stuff. Yeah. Anything with like some kind of powerful soul going on in like a sort of pop or rock realm. Uh, we had a comment that, or a question that asked what moved you to change the children's music? I mean, I guess, it, was there anything aside from your son? Was there a special experience or something else? Well, my childhood, my childhood, you know, um, Reconnecting with that through Jack is like the whole thing. It's it's where we get to come together. I guess you know, erase time and it's like our childhood selves kind of playing together. It's really cute. Um, so uh, it started as a an idea to go in the studio with my dad uh, and for us to record together because we've never done that before. And uh, this being the first grandkid, uh, he wanted to record a couple of kid songs that are part of our family traditions for Jack so uh, that's how it started but it turned into 
a, a whole thing with a lot of new music inspired by Jack and, and what he's going through now. So. Yeah. Is he musically inclined yet? Has it's hard to say because he's two, but right. I think he has rhythm. Actually, he's come to um, the Evanescence practices, like mm -hmm. when we're getting together rehearsed so far a couple times. and. Um, man, he loves the drums. That's like, exciting. I've got a really funny video of him, like, behind Will's drum kit, just, like, seeing what it sounds like when the stick hits the snare. Yeah. Just dying, laughing, like, so happy, like, hitting the snare. And, of course, Will's like, he's got the bounce down. He's got the <laughs> wrist action. This boy is a drummer. So we'll see. That's amazing. My friends recently gave their four-year-old a drum kit. Oh, no. Yeah. No, I think they're, they're pretty, he's pretty into it. That's but awesome. I, I'm, yeah, I can only imagine. Actually, Rich uh, from Finger Eleven gave us, a uh, good old friend, gave us a little kid drum set for Jack when he was, like, a baby. Yeah. Um, and we let him have it, and he totally loved it totally trashed it like grunge style and ruined it it's it's gone but he Girl really really proud. really loved it well for a few months oh, that's amazing <laughs> well, maybe he'll upgrade at some yeah. point that's cool um so is there anything you like to do i mean because you have this like interesting lifestyle you're sort of like a rock star but you're also a mom so is there any like any sort of things that you like to do that your fans might be like just surprised that you're probably <laughs> probably half the things i do I feel like these days it's more like I'm a mom right. and a rock star on the right. side. Like that's my side project. It's cool to be able to have an outlet where, you know, most days I don't even put on makeup. I just get up really fast, brush my teeth and grab him. Or, you know, Josh gets him and I come down later, take him to the park, doing kid stuff most of the day, going upstairs to work a little bit, but it's not like rock star work. It's like in your head, creating music, writing music, whatever. Um, so to be able to have the outlet and go on the road with my rock band and get up on stage and kick ass for a minute, it's really, really cool. Um, really excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we had a good question, actually. Um, yeah. A fan is inspired by your voice and finds it really strong and asked if you did, it, did any special warm-ups before shows or if you took any favorite teas or rituals. I or always like have that. to warm up before I sing. Uh, that helps a lot. I remember when I was really young and playing our very first performances like in a, you know, I don't know, a little pizza place or like some weird festival at noon. Um, <laughs> and I didn't warm up because I was shy and it's not like you have a dressing room or anything. Right. And it was much harder. I, I remember, like, after just a few songs, you know, you sing different live than you do um, when you're just in your house. You should warm up when you're just in the studio, too. Just get more richness and control and longevity out of your voice. But I remember my voice really hurting, like, a couple songs in uh, and being like, why is it like that? And then once I started warming up my voice the way we do, would do in choir, like, in school, um, helped so much. And you learn how to kind of pull back a little bit to be able to control what's actually happening on stage so that you can get through it. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Warming up, big time. Yeah. So do you, um, your choir teacher from back then, do you still have a relationship with them? A or? little bit. I was actually just emailing my high school choir teacher about a month ago about something. She's, she was, oh, I remember. Uh, I wrote a choir piece for my high school choir when I was uh, a senior, and we performed it like at graduation. Um, and she was looking for it because she wanted to like teach it to her kids and she was wondering oh. where she could find the, the music or something. That's amazing. Yeah. That's really cool. You're like inspiring in so many different ways. Um, wow, that's really interesting. Yeah. And Teachers are amazing. Yeah. Uh, I got a lot of good, um, good like encouragement from a few teachers and she was one of them who really like gave me a chance to shine like and have a moment where I got to teach the choir my song. like. It's definitely not in the lesson plan. Right. Yeah. So is Jack a fan of Evanescence? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think so. I mean, he just will say, Mommy's singing. Yeah. And that's, like, a good thing. So, yeah. Yes. Yes, That's amazing. <laughs> just wait till he gets to, like, when he's a little older, you guys are still performing, and he gets to be, like, VIP at all Watch these, like, awesome Watch him hate it. Festivals. Watch him be into some totally he other thing. Be. Like, oh, I can't stand <laughs> stupid rock music. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Well, let's see, is there anything else you'd like to chat about before? I mean, I'm sure you have like a bunch of things you have to run to. I don't want to keep you. Just stopping by to say hi. Exactly. Checking in. Checking in. Make sure everybody's good. Yeah. Um, we're good. Very happy. Thank you guys for Absolutely. paying attention. Everyone's been saying how much they love you. Well, I love you too. Waiting to see if they're you're going to be in Thanks for letting city. me do a kids record and yeah. actually being so very supportive. It's well, been really fun and fulfilling. 
hopefully there'll be another. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Amy. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.